hi I just completed the controller on my breadboard and uh, I start charging the battery the battery fully charged was above 13.8 volt and uh, it was dumping at this stage uh, I connected everything you can see it I have two SLD batteries but I'm testing only with one the matter is reading uh, 12 point five nine to twelve point six six volt as you can see and this is the controller let me tell you up front that uh, Glenn Hurt thanks to him he made he did a great job I had a couple of days trying to mount everything together and test it it was really straightforward it was simple and uh, there it is so let me walk you through the circuit on the left you can see the power resistors that are connected in parallel and are supposed to dump the excess current in the battery actually I have two series the first one on the top with four power resistors that's the one I'm using right now that are connected the second series of four is not connected it means I'm using only one power and FET to drive those four resistors on the top I connected the meter just to monitor the battery voltage and uh, as you can see it's not dumping because the yellow LED is not on at this stage that's a controller a really simple piece of art but really amazing one also and uh, as you can see I connected the controller to the battery I have two SLA batteries where I connected the controller I connected this wire is the one coming from the wind turbine to charge the batteries and uh, those two wires these two are connected to a power inverter a 75 watts power inverter and I connected a 14 watts lamp on it and it's working as you can see the power inverter is connected the lamp is connected to the power inverter 75 watt power inverter the power inverter is connected to the battery and the battery is connected both to the wind turbine and to the controller Oh, my mistake this wire actually is the one connected to the controller to this switch right here and uh, the red and the black wire are the one coming from the wind turbine they are all connected to the battery and this is the power and fed supposed to drive supposed to control the voltage and dump the excess power 
to the power resistors. I am really happy at this point because I was able to make everything work. I spent many days trying to troubleshoot all the different issues I had with those. And uh, well, let me tell you again, Glenn helped me a lot. He did a great job. The controller is really simple and straightforward. And believe me or not, it cost 15 bucks. 15 bucks. That's all it costs you, this controller. If you want to see how much it costs on eBay, go ahead and good luck about that. And at the end, you will not even be able to make sure or check whether or not your controller is working. But with this one, it's really simple and straightforward. I'm going to stop at this point and connect everything before continue.